Okay. Now, let's actually watch this trailer. I used to have nothing. And then I got this job. This family. But nothing lasts forever. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done running from my past. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're going to talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? You, sis. What brings you home? We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Lucky us. One thing's for sure. It's going to be a hell of a reunion. Still fits. Family. Back together again. You got fat. Okay, so, um, uh, so this trailer was actually a, a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to be. I mean, usually the first trailers are just, you know, there to warm you up, to get you interested in the movie. It's usually the second trailer that's actually really exciting to watch. Um, so we're going to go through this again and look at it shot for shot, um, I used to have nothing. Like, that's obviously from Age of Ultron, which means that we're probably going to get another look at her origin story. This family. But nothing lasts forever. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. Oh, that's actually uh, William Hurt as General Ross. Um, he looks... I want to say he looks de-aged here, but I I'm not really sure. He, he probably isn't since... Okay, so I think from what I heard, this is supposed to be after Civil War, but before Infinity War, so it's in between movies. He's not de-aged, obviously, if it is, but this could also be a scene that takes place in somewhere in the past. Like, I have a feeling that this movie is going to take place in different time periods, and that's what they mean by going back to the past. And it's not just, you know, visiting an earlier point in the timeline, but also, uh... Well, yeah, it would be visiting an early point in the timeline regardless, but we're also going to see things that we haven't seen before. Like, uh, I'm sure her origin story is going to get expanded upon. I'm sure we're actually going to see the events of Budapest, which have been mentioned uh, a number of times before. I actually, uh, during the time when I was not able to stream, I actually we watched a bunch of... Uh, the MCU films, and there's a lot of material that they have to work with, with expanding upon Black Widow and such. So, um, 
it, this could very easily take place, uh, like, during uh, Romanov's early days, and if so, then he, he probably... I can't fully tell if he's being de-aged here, but he, he does look a little younger, at least to me. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done running from my past. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're going to talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? And that's the other Black Widow. I like that suit. We have to go back to where it all started. And that's the white widow suit. This looks like it takes place. I'm not sure where, but obviously it's someplace really cold, so they gave her a suit to match the snow. Oh, hold on. This looks like it's part of a training program, which means it might be uh, during uh, Black Widow's, uh, Natasha's training. One thing's for sure. Um, okay, so when I first saw this, I initially thought this was Hawkeye in, in a different suit, one that I haven't seen before, but, but now that I think about it, it, this is probably actually Taskmaster, which I thought he was going to have, you know, his skull face appearance. Um, I mean, it, the helmet does kind of look like it, but I, I don't know. It's it's not close enough for me. I, I could have sworn I, I saw images of Taskmaster looking more comic accurate than this, but I guess those were just concept arts or fan interpretations, or maybe I was just mistaken. I'm not sure, but... Uh, well, other than the fact that he lacks a skull face, it's not that bad of a design, actually. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. And there's Red Guardian. Still fits. Family. Back together again. You got fat. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna be the co comedic relief of the film like uh but for those of you who don't know this this guy is basically a captain russia you know captain america but for russia he uh um <laughs> he looks like he's uh had quite a lot of character development off screen um so just on that alone i i feel like he could uh have his own movie, and who knows, maybe his appearance in this film could, could lead to his own movie. Hell, I think, uh, just seeing, just from seeing this, he, he could probably have his own trilogy of films, you know? Like, it, like, you heard her say it, that he got fat, you know? So, he, it seems like, or sounds like he's been through a lot already, and, uh, you know, He's past his former glory days, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this movie will uh, give us a glimpse of what he used to be like, and maybe, you know, we will get a, a Red Guardian film, or a spinoff, or, or something, you know, Disney Plus show, whatever. I, I just, just from this trailer alone, this makes me want to see more of Red Guardian. You know, and to see how, how he got to this point where he is now in, in the Black Widow movie. Or, or maybe we'll, we'll even see some of that in, in this movie itself. Yeah, and, uh, hold on. Yeah, see... We don't really see him from the front here, but uh, it doesn't really look like Taskmaster. 
he kind of looks more like like crossbones if you ask me but oh yeah okay yeah you can see a bit of uh orange lining here around the hood and on the shoulders yeah okay Th this is taskmaster uh, I, I, hmm. I can understand why they wouldn't give him the cape you know but at the same time i don't know Maybe they could have, like, given him an overcoat or something to, to... But an orange overcoat? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll see. And, and this part looks pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of Saints Row 3, actually. And I really like the, the stylization of that. Okay, so... Um, overall, this obviously looks like it's going to be a more serious film in the MCU. Not nearly as lighthearted or comedic as uh, one would come to expect from an MCU film. But not exactly a devoid of lighthearted or uh, humorous moments as we saw from Red Guardian. Like I said, I'm sure he's going to be the comedic relief of the movie, but he's not going to be, you know, 100% jokes all the time or anything like that. And uh, if we do see him in his former glory, it, it, as well as, you know, after the fact in this film, then certainly he's not going to be a, a character that's nothing but pure comic relief. Uh, and... Uh, I do wonder, like, because if this film will depict the the depict the events of Budapest, then I'm sure Hawkeye is going to be in the film as well, since he's also mentioned Budapest. And uh, one of the films I rewatched during my time away was Captain Marvel, and Nick Fury mentioned Budapest in that film, so he might be in this movie too. Uh, but we didn't see either of them in in the trailer, so. Maybe they're uh, hiding them for the next trailer, or maybe they won't reveal them until the movie itself comes out. We'll see. But uh, overall, I I think this is a good trailer. You know, it's just a tease, not not really a. Uh, a like I said, the, the second trailer is the one that gets you excited for the movie. Um, but this trailer was was better than I expected, and the movie actually looks like it's going to be excuse me, really good just from this trailer alone. So I'm excited for it. I'm more excited for it now than it was than I was before I uh I saw the trailer. So yeah, uh despite how long it took for the trailer to come out, I thought it was gonna come out last month. Um but it came out today and uh I gotta say I actually am Looking forward to this movie way more now than I was b before I saw the trailer. So, yeah, they did a good job for sure. Um, it says May 2020 rather than... I could have sworn the date was May 1st or May 4th. I, I don't remember, but... Uh, this film is not yet rated. Yeah, that, that's to be expected w when you see a first trailer. I heard some people suggest that maybe this movie is going to be rated R, which, while it certainly does look like a more serious film, I don't think it's going to go that far. I mean, I don't think that they're going to do uh, R-rated MCU films just yet, especially not with characters that we already know. If anything, uh, they'll do R-rated movies with characters that have yet to be introduced with the MCU that, uh, that um, actually warrant it like Ghost Rider or Blade you know characters like that and maybe Black Widow warrants a, an R rating as well but seeing as how she's already been in a bunch of PG-13 rated movies no matter how serious the tone of this movie is going to be I don't think they're gonna uh, go all the way and give this one an R rating uh, but yeah um I guess that's going to do it for my uh, reaction and trailer analysis uh, 
for this uh, trailer. Um, 